Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our biochemistry playlist. In previous videos, we talked about DNA versus RNA, nucleotides versus nucleosides, purines versus pyrimidines. We talked about DNA replication, DNA repair, and DNA biotechnology. Today, let's leave the land of DNA and turn our attention to the land of RNA. Ribonucleic acid. What's the triad? The triad is the nucleotide. Ribose sugar, nitrogenous bases, and phosphate. Please watch the videos in this playlist in order. The DNA also had sugar, base, and phosphate, but the DNA has deoxyribose sugar, whereas the RNA has just ribose sugar. There is another difference. DNA has thymine in it, but RNA does not have thymine. Instead of thymine, RNA has uracil. Your genetic code is similar to the computer code. I want to send an email to a friend via a computer. The computer is the hardware, but the code is software. What's the hardware? Your DNA molecule. And what's the software? The answer is, it's the genetic code, the organization of the codons. Why are we trying to send a message? In order to make proteins. So that's the central dogma which we discussed before. When you double your DNA, it's called replication. When you convert DNA into RNA, it's called transcription. When you translate the message into meaningful proteins, this is called translation or protein synthesis. Your DNA is in the nucleus, it cannot leave. If it does leave the nucleus and go to the cytoplasm, it will be degraded in a second. Who's gonna take the message then from the nucleus to the ribosomes in the cytoplasm? Answer is RNA especially mRNA. The messenger RNA is going to take the message from the nucleus to the cytoplasm by passing through the nuclear pores. My DNA is here in the nucleus and then the DNA copies itself called replication and then the DNA will be transcribed into mRNA. The mRNA will take the message and will leave the nucleus via the nuclear pores until it goes outside to find the ribosomes usually on the surface of the rough endoplasmic reticulum. And then uh, translation, which means protein synthesis. And that's how you code for proteins. In order for us to work on the DNA, the DNA has to be relaxed like this in the euchromatin form. DNA has deoxyribose sugar, nitrogenous bases are four, including thymine and phosphate. But RNA will have ribose, not deoxyribose, it will not have thymine, instead it will have uracil, the phosphate is the phosphate. Sugar plus nitrogenous base is nucleoside. Add phosphate, it becomes nucleotide. The nucleotide is a triad of sugar, a base, and phosphate. The name of the enzyme that synthesizes DNA nucleotides is called DNA polymerase. The name of the enzyme that synthesizes RNA nucleotides is the RNA polymerase. DNA versus RNA. DNA has deoxyribose, RNA has ribose. DNA is double-stranded, RNA is single-stranded. Viruses are exception to this rule. Moreover, DNA has thymine, but RNA has uracil. DNA cannot leave the nucleus, RNA can leave the nucleus. Sugar plus base equals nucleoside. Example, ribose sugar plus adenine base equals adenosine, which is a nucleoside. Add a phosphate group to it, which is negatively charged, and before you know it, we have nucleotide, such as adenosine triphosphate. Never ever forget that the phosphate is at the 5 prime, always the 5 prime carbon. Phosphate has a negative charge, and phosphate is full of energy. These are the nitrogenous bases, pure as gold. The pyramid has one ring. Who are the pyramids? The rest of the shebang. Thymine, cytosine, uracil. Thymine is to DNA what uracil is to RNA. Please remember what we said before, is that heat energy or thermal energy can convert the cytosine into uracil. Notice that cytosine has three nitrogen groups. Uracil only has two. Therefore, how do you go from cytosine to uracil 
it's called deamination. Here is the base, add sugar to it, it becomes nucleoside. Add one phosphate, you have monophosphate. Two phosphates, you have diphosphate. Three phosphates, you have triphosphate. All of these are nucleotides. Pause and review. In a previous video, we talked about DNA replication, which happens in the S phase of the cell cycle. Since phosphate at the 5' prime has a negative charge, your DNA as a whole is negatively charged. It's anti-parallel double helix, usually right-handed helix. The bases are on the inside, but the sugar phosphate backbone is to the outside. RNA is similar, but instead of deoxyribose sugar, we have ribose sugar. And instead of thymine, we have uracil. And instead of double-stranded, we have a single-stranded structure. DNA replication, S phase of the cell cycle. This is my original DNA. Each of these original parent strands will be copied to give me two extra new daughter strands. We started the origin of replication. Open the replication fork. Fork back and forth in both directions. First step, the primase will add a primer, which is a short RNA molecule. DNA polymerase will add DNA nucleotides. The DNA polymerase synthesizes the new DNA from 5' prime to 3', prime, which means we have to read the 3' prime to 5' prime template. In this direction, it will be one singular continuous stride known as the leading strand. But in the opposite direction, we have the lagging strand with the Okazaki fragments, which require DNA ligase to seal in the gaps later. This is DNA replication, which happens in the S phase of the cell cycle. Next, if you have watched my biology playlist, I've told you before about interferons. Why do we call them interferons? interferons because they interfere with viral replication what a beautiful name but how did they do it well they increase production of rnas which is an enzyme that breaks down rna so that the virus cannot replicate remember no rna equals no protein synthesis the virus without proteins is toast go to hell after copying that dna let's use the copy that we just made transcribe it to become mrna and then mrna will leave the nucleus through the nuclear pores we'll go to the cytoplasm to find the ribosome translation will happen which is protein synthesis to make proteins proteins are made of what of amino acids amino acid amino carboxylic acid that's why we call them amino acids we read the amino acid from the left side to the right side from the nh2 to the cooh from the amino group to the carboxyl group from the n terminus to the c terminus why do we have to follow this rule is this some kind of a social construct no this is how your ribosomes make amino acids in real time. We put the N-terminus first, then the C-terminus. Proteins are a bunch of peptides, and peptides are a bunch of amino acids. So the building blocks of proteins are amino acids. And then you combine an amino acid with another amino acid. Remove water, give me a lovely peptide bond, and now we have a dipeptide. Repeat it again tripeptide, oligopeptide, polypeptide, protein, etc. This is how we make a peptide bond, releasing water in the process. It's a classic condensation reaction, because you're removing water. We've talked about this in previous biochemistry videos, so please pause and review. How many amino acids exist in the universe? A lot. But how many amino acids are coded for by your genetic code? Only 20. Each amino acid has a three-letter abbreviation and a one-letter abbreviation. You need to memorize the three-letter abbreviation at the very least. So, turns out these proteins are nothing but a bunch of amino acids linked together by peptide bonds. RNA types. We have the messenger RNA, we have the ribosomal RNA and transfer RNA, formerly known as sRNA, which stands for soluble. Which one is the biggest RNA molecule? The mRNA. It is massive. Which one is the most abundant or redundant or rampant ribosomal RNA? Which one is the tiniest molecule? tRNA. 
This is my DNA, right? Yeah, start with one strand, call it the coding strand. After replication, thank you so much DNA polymerase, we have another copy. Let's call it a template, because this will be used as a template to make RNA from it. How do you make RNA? How do you put new RNA nucleotides? By RNA polymerase, a polymer, many nucleotides together. The mRNA will leave the nucleus through the nuclear pores. It will go to the outside, trying to find the ribosome. And then the ribosome will help us translate the message from meaningless codons into meaningful proteins. In order to build a house that has a specific shape and particular design, you need information first and then we can materialize it as a house. Remember that DNA polymerase synthesizes DNA nucleotides from the 5' prime to the 3' prime direction. Similarly, RNA polymerase will synthesize RNA nucleotides from the 5' prime to the 3' prime direction. But hey, Metacosis, why did you write 3' prime to 5' prime here? I had to write it this way so that it matches with everything above it and beneath it. But how it is made in real life is from 5' prime to 3' prime direction. Now let's play the game. Here is adenine on the DNA. The other strand is DNA, so A will be pairing with T. T with A, G with C, G with C. A with T, T with A. Then we'll take the template strand and try to make mRNA. The T should become A. A should become T, but there is no such thing as T on an RNA. Instead of T, say U. C becomes G. How about C? G. T. Right, fine, A. But A should become T. There is no such thing as T on an RNA. We'll say U instead. Uracil instead of thymine. Every time you see uracil on the mRNA, it means it was thymine on the original coding strand of the DNA. But anytime you see A on the mRNA, it was an A on the original DNA strand. G was G. G was G. But U was T. Next, look at this. Here is the codon. AUG. The sequence is important. AUG is not the same as AGU, is not the same as GAU, etc. The order is important, just like our daily language. This word is not the same as this word, even though they have the same letters. And then we'll translate the message. AUG, for example, will become the amino acid methionine. GAU will become aspartate or aspartic acid. And then you repeat it, you repeat it, you repeat it. Amino acid, amino acid, amino acid. Make a peptide bond and now you're making a proteins. From 5' prime to 3' prime. From the N terminus to the C terminus. Amino acid. And you will keep doing this until you hit one of these three stop codons. If you hit them, you will stop translation and the protein is truncated and terminated and that's it. You need to memorize the first codon, AUG, which codes for methionine, and you need to memorize the three stop codons, which are UAA, UGA, and UAG. Please do not say UGG, because GG is a female's name, and she is a hard-working person. She's not gonna stop. Mnemonic time. When the ribosome saw the stop codon, it said to the protein, you are away, you go away, you are gone, I'm done with it. But UGG is not a stop codon. You go, girl. Let's talk about each type of RNA briefly, and then in the next video, we'll dig deeper. mRNA is massive. It's the messenger. It carries the code, the message from the DNA, which is in the nucleus, and then we'll go to the ribosome, which is outside the nucleus. Could be in the cytoplasm or on top of the rough endoplasmic reticulum. That's why the rough endoplasmic reticulum is rough, because of the ribosomes. The only type of RNA that contains genetic info that is translatable to proteins is mRNA. rRNA cannot do it, tRNA cannot do it. mRNA in prokaryotes is polycystronic. What the flip is that? Poly means many, cis means the same. The same, singular, mRNA molecule is giving me tons of proteins, poly. 
But in humans, you and me, we are eukaryotes, and in eukaryotes, mRNA is monocystronic. One mRNA molecule can only give you one protein, not any other protein. Next, ribosomal RNA, the most abundant RNA type. Never ever forget this metacosis equation. The rough endoplasmic reticulum equals ribosomes plus proteins. What does the ribosome have? Ribosomal RNA. If you want to learn more about the endoplasmic reticulum, check out the video titled endoplasmic reticulum in my biology playlist. Endoplasmic reticulum could be rough or smooth. Rough is for translation, which means protein synthesis. Why is the rough rough? Because it's ribosomes. The ribosomes is giving it its granular shape. Function of the rough endoplasmic reticulum is protein synthesis or translation of mRNA into proteins. This is the rough endoplasmic reticulum which has ribosomes which have rRNA and this is the smooth endoplasmic reticulum no ribosomes and no rRNA. The third type, transfer RNA or tRNA. It looks like a clover leaf. It has a 5' prime with phosphate again and 3' prime with OH. Where will the amino acid fit? The amino acid will fit into the 3' prime end. And the part of the tRNA that will meet with the mRNA and pair together is called the anticodon, which pairs with the codon. The codon is on the mRNA, but the anti-codon is on the tRNA. How do we activate the tRNA? Easy. Attach the amino acid to the 3' prime end of the tRNA. Who's gonna charge and activate this tRNA with amino acid? Aminoacyl tRNA synthetase. There is a rule in biochemistry that says if the enzyme is called synthetase, it's gonna deal with ATP. This enzyme requires ATP. Mnemonic time. tRNA gets activated, i.e. charged, when an amino acid is attached to its 3' prime end thanks to the amino acyl tRNA synthetase, which requires ATP. You can imagine another mnemonic. Next time you come close to a warehouse, listen carefully to the workers talking to each other and messing with each other. Hey, load the freaking truck with the packages, boy. Where should I load it? Near the tail end of the truck. Okay, similarly. Load the freaking tRNA with amino acid. I'm talking to you, amino acyl tRNA synthetase. To which the amino acyl tRNA synthetase responded, Where do you want me to put it? Answer, at that three prime end. Pause and review. I have more than 1200 videos here on YouTube, plus many premium courses on my website, such as my anti-cancer pharmacology course, my kidney physiology course, my general pharmacology course, and even my emergency medicine high yields course. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.